Kutu is a native plant species found in New Zealand. Vinehopper insects feed on the sap of the tutu plant and produce honeydew containing tutu. When bees gather this honeydew on tutu bushes, there is a risk of toxic honey production. Tutin is highly toxic to humans. In the last 125 years, a number of people have been poisoned, hospitalised and some have died from eating honey containing tutin. To produce toxic honey, the following three conditions are required. Tutu bushes, vine hoppers, which typically occur during the summer months throughout the North Island and in the top part of the South Island, and honeybees being managed for honey production. The botanical name for tutu is Coriaria arborea a native plant species found throughout New Zealand, particularly along roadsides, stream banks and in regenerating native bush. A number of Coriaria species are present in New Zealand and known to contain tutin. Tutin is not toxic to honeybees, but tutin is very toxic to mammals, including humans. Tutin is a neurotoxin that causes nervous signs, including nausea and convulsions. Tutin can even cause the death of seriously affected patients. The whole of the North Island and the top third of the South Island are now regarded as risk areas. While the Bay of Plenty was previously thought to present the greatest risk, we now know that other areas present risk due to changes in reforestation, regenerating scrub and vinehopper distribution. Since its arrival in New Zealand in the 1870s, the Passion Vinehopper, which is also technically known as Scollipopper australis, has become common in many parts of the country. Scollipopper can be found on a wide range of plants, including garden plants and some fruit crops. The Passion Vinehopper adults and nymphs feed on these plants and excrete honeydew. Eggs are then laid in late summer and autumn and hatch in the following spring. The nymphs develop through five stages and become adults in summer, completing a single generation in one year. Passion vinehopper occurs on native and introduced plants in gullies, regenerating bush and beside streams and roads. The tutu sap is eaten by the passion vinehopper, scolipopper, but not all is digested. The undigested sap that contains a lot of plant sugars as well as tutin is excreted as honeydew onto the leaves of the tutu bush. Bees then gather the honeydew and toxic honey is the result. Bees and wasps forage on tutu bushes even when there is no visible honeydew present. If vine hoppers are present, it has to be assumed that honeydew is available for bees to collect. If you see bees feeding off tutu bushes, then you need to treat that honey as likely to be toxic to consumers. You should shift your hives away so bees cannot feed from tutu bushes within their feeding range. Do not take honey from high-risk hives. There is also a real risk if brood boxes are being extracted, so leave the honey in the brood boxes for the bees. Remember that bees do shift honey up from the brood boxes, so there may be a risk of toxic feed honey remaining in the hives in springtime. Don't shift honey to other hives for feed, where it may later be taken for human consumption. Don't eat honey from high-risk hives, especially comb honey or honey extracted in small volumes. Both comb honey and extracted honey can be poisonous. Comb honey poses a greater risk because it is eaten directly off the comb, increasing the chance of consuming honey with a high concentration of tutin. So make sure all comb honey is safe. Extracted honey is often bulked or blended with other honey to reduce the concentration of toxin. Honey is subject to regulatory control. For information on the regulatory requirements, please visit the website of the Ministry for Primary Industries. The Tutin and Honey regulations mean that any beekeeper who poisons someone with honey they sell may be liable for prosecution. There are limits set for the presence of Tutin and honey for human consumption. This includes honey consumed here in New Zealand and honey to be exported. If you are going to sell, barter or give away honey from high-risk hives, 
you should have it laboratory tested to ensure that it is safe and complies with the regulations. So remember, know what tutu is, know what tutu looks like, know where tutu grows, look for scully popper, especially look for bees and wasps collecting honeydew. Check the safety and legal requirements on mpi.govt.nz. Follow these steps and keep your honey safe.